Okay, I'm back. I've already put two coats on the dresser, but I've been experimenting with the crackle pinks. I've never used it before. So I am comparing the Martha Stewart um, Weather Crackle with the, that's Martha Stewart's Weather Crackle. Once again, this packaging, I wanna be able to dip my brush. I have to get another container and squirt it out. And um, this didn't seem to go as long of a ways as the other, the art, I did Art Minds as well. This um, took a lot more product to, to smooth it out. It seemed to be a little bit thicker, but it could be just because it's the weathered. Um, but I, I'm gonna show you two examples of each, or an example of each. And then I also use the Art Minds Chalk Crackle Medium. And I think I like this better. I was able to dip my brush in it. Nice white top. I was able to dip my brush in it. I didn't have to get another container and keep pouring because you have to move quickly with, you know, kind of with this. Because as you're brushing it, it's already like coagulating or drying as you're brushing it. So it's really hard to, um, I use a normal paintbrush, but it's really hard to spread it out if you do it very quickly. So you kind of have to do sections. And I'm gonna show you two different examples and I already know which one I'm gonna use. Okay, this one is um, the uh, Martha Stewart's and you can see the crackling is less pronounced, um, but you can see like right here, the crackling goes, it's more elongated. Let's see if I can find another section where it, see, it, it, I mean, it was drying as quick as, there's another section right there. It was drying as quick as I was putting it on, but it wasn't as easy to work with and it, it's easy to make a mistake. So I didn't really care for it, but on this side, I love it. This, oh, it's so wet. Oops, I was in a hurry. So wet. I just put the paint on it and, and watched it crackle. Okay, this is the Art Minds, and I like how, see that it's, it's more of a circular cracking. And this is on dry wood. This isn't an laminated surface, so it was hard to get the paint onto it because, you know, I, I, chalk, or I put my chalk paint on first, crackle on second, let it dry. The nice thing is about both of these, um, whether you use the Mar Martha Stewart, it, this one actually, brushing it on, it gets thick, or it gets harder to brush when you put it on, and I tried a foam brush, and I tried a paint brush. They both worked about the same. Um, but uh, with this one, to feather it out, I mean, you have to move quickly, because it starts to um, thicken up pretty quick. And, you have, and so if you don't pour, ooh, I'm glad the lid was on. If you don't pour enough in, into your little bowl and you have to pour again, well, that's time away from you getting to, you know, put more crackle on. So I don't like the container of the Martha Stewart. She has good products. Just the packaging. Ah! Um, that's what I didn't like about her chalk paints, too, is the packaging. And also, I then have to have an extra cup around to pour this into, which I just knocked over because it's just one more thing to have on my ground around me. I like being able to dip in the container. Now, okay, so the nice thing about both these, this and that, you'll see some YouTubers, um, when I was watching a lot of videos on, trying to learn how to do the crackle paint, a lot of them said you have to um, hurry up and paint over it before the crackle dries and you have to do it when it's tacky. Well, then I started getting nervous because I have a big piece of furniture that I'm doing and you know, if you stop, the gunshot, you gotta be used to my living out in the country. <laughs> um, but now I lost my train of thought. Oh, um, so if you're doing a large piece of furniture and you have to do it in sections, you might see where you stopped one section and started another one. I wanted to just be able to brush it on and these you let completely dry before you put your top, your top coat on. And so I like that. I don't want to have to worry about hurrying up and getting the paint on while it's still tacky, because some of them won't work if you wait till they're dry. And this says right on the container, let completely dry, and so does the Martha Stewart. So that's the reason I chose these two to try out, because I'm doing this big piece of furniture, I just want to put the crackle all on, and because I don't want to be washing brushes in between sections or having a brush dry up. And so um, that's what I like about these, is you paint it on very quickly, and then you let it completely dry. And I let this um, dry for, it was about 20, 30 minutes that um, I went in and sewed curtains. 
and um, let it dry. It came out when it was completely dry, then I put the coat of paint on it. So I do like that fact, being able to do it this way. So let's get, let's get to putting on the crackle medium onto the water cabinet. Okay, so as you can see, I painted the whole thing inside and out with the Oyster Bay paint. And um, took two full coats, front, back, inside, everything, I did everything. And so now I'm gonna put on the crackle medium just on the areas that I want to do the crackle. Because I'm just gonna do the sides, and I'm kinda planning it as I go. I'm gonna do the sides, the top, everything, but I'm not gonna do the doors. Um, so I'm gonna put the crackle medium on right now, and I've got just a regular paintbrush, cheapy, from Michael's Craft Store. One of the cheapy ones. Okay. Get a lot on my brush, and go in with the grain of you don't, everybody says you don't want to overwork this stuff because you'll actually peel it up. So I'm just putting with the, with the grain of the cabinet, um, the, the way I want the crackle to go and I want it to go from right to left. This is the tough part right here. It goes on quick because you have to move quick. Make sure it doesn't run. Get all the way to the edges. I'll go back and wipe the edge. And I'm painting it on as thick as I would this normal paint. Quick as that. Okay, so since I have to move quickly and I don't want to keep on moving my camera around, I'm gonna get all this crackle on just like I just did. Just like I was painting a single coat, putting it all on, and then I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'll come back and show you when I put the top coat on. Okay, so I just put the coat of crackle on it. Uh, now I, I'm gonna let it dry overnight um, because it's raining out, and um, I wanna make sure it completely dries. Here's something I just found out. You do wanna put it in a thin coat because since you're painting vertically, not horizontally, vertically, if you put it on thick, it's gonna run. Um, so I, I hopefully I didn't ruin it, and I don't know if you can see the runs already. Okay, I'm gonna zoom into this one run that's right there. See that little yellow line? That, that little yellow line right there? It's actually running. And I've already taken a brush back and kind of dabbed where it's running. But, uh, so I'm a little nervous as to why it's, it's got the wavy drip marks, kind of like our painters did our house <laughs> that we had to redo. But, um, so that's my only concern is we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully those drip marks are not gonna show up when I put the second coat on it. Hopefully the crackling, it'll just be an area that has more crackle, which is, I'd be fine with that. So, I did, I thought I was putting it on pretty thin. I put it on and feathered it out just like I would uh, my first coat of chalk paint, how I put that on thin. Um, so I thought I was putting it on thin, but the longer it sits here, the more it's starting to run down the dresser. And that is the Art Mines chalk paint. Um, now, it worked great on the board, but that was horizontal on the ground. So I'm gonna let this sit overnight. I'm gonna pray a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use the porcelain from Art Mines as a top coat, and um, I'll be back as soon as this dries. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm so scared. This stuff has a lot of runs, and in some spots it actually turned yellow. I don't know if it's the brand. This is Art, uh, Art Mines. I don't know if it's the brand or what, but where I had some major drippings, I did run a brush over it to try to get the drippings. Well, I can see in the light, it actually took some of the crackle off, so I'm very nervous how this is gonna turn out. So let's see. I'm just using the porcelain again, Art Mines, and just a regular paintbrush.
Okay. Making sure that I'm painting in the same direction as I put the crackle on. Oh, it goes on thick. I'm putting the paint on really thick too because it doesn't spread very easily so you don't get much of a chance to re-dip. Take it all the way across so I can get my brush strokes out. Try not to overwork it. It's crackling as quick as I'm putting it on there. really hard to get the paint to spread. It, I mean, the crackle really dries the paint. I mean, so quickly, it kind of coagulates and it doesn't want to spread. So I'm having to be very generous with the paint. But see, I can't go back over it because oh, you can't really see it's not close enough. But if you try to go back over to get rid of a brush stroke, it, you actually peel up the paint. So you got to like just stroke it on and hope for the best. Oh, I'm going to zoom in. Look at how fast this is crackling. I don't know if you can see that right here. Look at it. It's already starting to crackle. I like it. Hopefully you can see it. I have to do this little stripe here. I love it. Oopsie. Drip. Now I already know. Let me zoom back. Me Hopefully you can see this. Yeah, you can see it. See, look at that crackle already. I mean, that's how fast it's crackling. I love it so far. Okay, well, I'm gonna continue to go around the dresser and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, put the drawers in. I wanted you to see it now because there is going to be a part three to this video. This is the crackle paint. I put the drawers on. Okay, now the knobs. I did put three coats of the porcelain Art Mines chalk paint on them. It took three coats and then I roughed them up to make them, made, made them look older. And then I put a coat of the UV, uh, Krylon UV resistant uh, acrylic sealer on them so that they don't, won't get any more distress than what they are now. But um, I have to tighten the screws on them, but I'm gonna be taking this off because I have not sealed the dresser. I said just a minute ago that I was gonna seal it, but see, I just, I painted that area that was glued on. See, this part was glued on. So I painted it white and then I distressed it. I distressed with, um, I used a 120 sandpaper and distressed the doors. I think they turned out really nice. So, that's what I've done so far. I distressed with the 120 sandpaper. I did distress all the doors and the drawers and the knobs. But here with the crackle paint, I did take some sandpaper to some of the crackle paint that had um, kind of powdered up. In some areas, it kind of gave a little powdery. So I, I wherever I saw a little bit of powdered finish because I had overworked it. I did sand it a little bit just to give it that age look. But here's what the crackle medium looks like. I do like how it turned out. Let's see if I get focused. I do like how it turned out, except for you can see the smooth brushes. That is where, like, where it was dripping, and I went back with a paintbrush. So they're not kidding when they say don't overwork it. Once you put it on, you got to leave it. Well, on a vertical piece like this, even though I put the um, crackle medium on, see some areas turn out really nice. So, uh, I love those areas. 
but um, they say not to overwork it. So the problem is, is that um, since this is a vertical piece and it's not a tabletop and it's not a small area like legs, since this is such a big piece, um, even though I put it on a thin coat, just like you would a thin coat of paint, it tended to run. So it is very unpredictable. So if you're someone who likes uniformity or likes to know exactly how something's gonna turn out, Crackle paint um, does not give that to you. You have to be willing to, you know, live with what you, you know, what you've done. But I do like it. Um, it is different. I'm not sure if I had an expensive piece if I would even take the risk of doing the crackle paint. Um, the back, the back isn't a solid piece of wood. It's, um, uh, it's a little bit different texture, so it didn't take it as well. But it still looks good. But you can see there's the crackle surface. So it's different in all areas. But there will be a part three to this video. Okay, this is what I'm talking about with the runs. This area I decided not to touch up with the paintbrush as much. And can you see the runs right there? Right there. See, it, it, had, it ran. So I don't know how you do a piece that's big like this, and this isn't that big of a piece, when you put it on, maybe it's just the brand. Maybe I need to try another brand, but the um, Art Mines Crackle finish, yeah, that's what I use. Uh, maybe the Art Mines Crackle finish was just too thick to be put on a vertical piece, because it, it did run. Okay, so now, Part three is going to be decoupage. We, my husband and I have decided, I had him out here to get his opinion. This area right here needs to pop between the drawers and the top. That needs to pop more. See where that trim is? That whole area there and that area there. It just needs to pop more all the way around. So that's where the decoupage is gonna come in. And I will show you on the next video, but I did go shopping for decoupage ideas and this is what I've come up with so far and how I do it will be on my next video so I got this napkin is that not perfect so I'm gonna decoupage this napkin into that space and that can look nice I'm really excited about it so that'll be in part three of this video is me decoupaging this piece I had several options this is one option, which my husband and I liked, but we, we liked the other one better. So the roses, just cutting out the roses because the leaf is pretty close to the drawer color. I can say focused. So cutting out those roses and putting those roses all over there. But looking at these side by side with the color of paint, we think that one is a better option. And that is a napkin that is... Um, uh, scrapbook paper so it's thicker and that's thinner and of course you know I'm gonna find something to decoupage with roosters I found roosters while I was there this is another option since I didn't have the dresser with me for color swatches this was another option which I'll probably do in another project it was these gorgeous flowers but the green you can see up against the dresser the green was too green so even though I absolutely love these napkins it's not gonna work so this is the winner. This is what I'm gonna decoupage around all this open space around the top of the dresser. So that will be the next project. Well, get ready for video number three. This is Amy with Fashion Toppings. Until next time, you have a great day.